Hi, um, I'm just cutting some bricks here where I'm actually in the middle of a different project and uh, um, I remember I remembered I need to do the intro for this video. So welcome back to a new video. Um, uh, today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful doll here. She's a special doll for, doll for Valentine's Day. So she's an evil queen of hearts sort of thing. Um, and uh, I actually had it done, uh, I, oh, sorry, I made it about, I don't know, about 10 days ago, something like that. And I think today is about time to um, upload this video so you can enjoy something to put you in the mood for uh, Valentine's Day. I would say she's not really the kind that puts you into a loving mood, but uh, that's my take on like a Valentine's Day doll. So. Keep on watching the video and if you will enjoy it please consider to subscribe leave a comment i'm really glad um why why do i say all the time really glad? i'm uh, i really enjoy reading the comments even if it's something that you know you didn't like or if i did something wrong you know just just comment your opinion you know you can uh, always leave a black heart emoji in the comments um that's like that's why i usually that's like my online signature so if you like you it's just enough to like put a black heart and i will really appreciate that and uh, that's it i'm gonna get back to coating my bricks and this is a project that you're actually you are gonna see this finish in probably like quite a few weeks maybe even a month because it's something bigger but it's something really really excited so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for being here with me today so here is a closer look of this doll in its um, original details, makeup and clothing. I'm gonna proceed to take her makeup off because I hate it, so the sooner the better. For best results, I do um, advise to use 100% acetone or um, a 80% or 70% mix. Uh, this nail polish remover has very less acetone in it, so it took me a while to rub all that paint off. I'm going ahead to remove her um, accessories, which are awful, so the quicker we remove everything, the better. the clothing, shoes. I'm gonna keep the shoes for a different project, most probably, because the base is not that bad. Here is the choice of hair um, that I decided on, two of them. I wasn't too sure which one yet. I'm gonna keep her original hair to use it as, as a base structure for the new hairstyle, which is gonna be really massive, big and crazy. I'm painting it on top with black acrylic color, so I stop that green thing showing through later on through her uh, new hair. I'm cutting her stomach area off because I need that hollow cavity for later on. Once the acrylic is dry, I'm applying some hot glue and going ahead with installing her new hair. Uh, so basically this is how I'm doing. I'm taking bits of hair, I'm teasing the base so it goes more matted and then I'm gluing that onto the head. Once it's all uh, glued into space. I'm using a thread and needle to secure it here and there to make sure it doesn't fall apart later on. I'm um, braiding a piece in the front so the whole chaotic hairstyle has some parts that look more organized and I do love braids so I'm going to secure it to the head just in the place I want with a drop of 
super glue make sure uh, take care when using super glue because it can ruin your whole project so if you don't feel confident enough maybe just um, use something else instead of super glue um, I'm using some polymer clay to sculpt the anatomical heart this is gonna be as a middle um, piece for her um, the the hollow bit that we cut that I cut off earlier on this is gonna be the central piece that's gonna go inside there so it should look really really awesome if you want to separate it a separate video on how I'm making this anatomical heart so like a start to finish video please leave a comment and if many of you want to see that and learn I will definitely make a separate video on this this is the second time I'm sculpting a little heart as such but this is a lot better than the first one I've ever done uh, so there is progress and that's good and I'm quite happy how I ended up this time a lot happier and i think it's really awesome and obviously it can help um some people to you know sh you know for them to learn and i can show them how how i've done this so if you are curious comment below Although I'm looking at now at this and actually I kind of just showed everything that I did in this video so I don't know I don't even know if a new video is required but you know I'll take any chance to do another one so I'll probably still do one even if no one needs and requires it I'll, I'll probably make a separate video for it here I'm adding some veins as well uh, just to make it look a bit more dramatic Drama is good in sculpture. Here I'm mixing part A and B of epoxy, epoxy sculpt to create the heart around the um, um, around her body where we made the hole earlier on um, so I'm just gonna use some of my sculpting tools to shape it the way I want it to, to look epoxy sculpt is very very strong once it's cured so if you need a clay that is super strong and it can take a hit or anything like that fall then epoxy sculpt is it's really really good it doesn't need to be baked it cures in time due to a chemical reaction between the part a and b once mixed so i'm just sculpting it until it's gonna you know sort of looking like i guess what i'm looking for i don't know what i'm looking for in this project because i did not make a plan for it just like a vague idea as so i'm going totally blind into this to be honest as almost always i don't really plan what i'm gonna do to be honest i uh, hear i'm poking some holes in because i'm gonna add something in there and i need the little uh, holes to hold those things into place basically um, mix, mixed, uh, I've mixed here some translucent clay with a bit of white clay and I'm shaping these monster teeth yes we are gonna have some monster teeth in there because why not she's a valentine's day girl but she's a monster valentine's girl and I'm uh, going ahead with the um, black acrylic paint to cover those uh, green gloves like that she's got um that green was disturbing me so i had to paint it <laughs> using the same acrylic paint for the shoes i sculpted them from epoxy sculpt during the night but her shoes are going to change quite a bit uh, during this whole project and the doll is ready but the shoes are not ready yet 
I'm still waiting for uh, some products to be delivered so I can make the finishing touches on them. So you're not going to see the final result in this video of how her shoes ended up. But I will update on my Instagram and YouTube later on with the picture when they will be ready. I'm using the same paint to cover the heart shape on her torso. A piece of velvet to mask the interior side and just trying to see if the heart fits in there. The heart and the teeth were already baked in the oven here. And I'm going ahead with gluing them into those little holes that you've seen me making earlier. So just a piece, of, just a drop of glue, of uh, super glue and securing them in place using some tweezers. Here I'm just tinting um, the heart with some resin dye or you can use an acrylic wash, resin dye is a bit messy. That just looks awesome, it does look awesome, it does look awesome. Uh, using some hot glue to glue it into place right there and going ahead with the rest of the teeth. I'm using a mixture of the um, epoxy glue and resin dye to create that wet blood inside that cavity and also a little bit on top of the heart. Make it all bloody and nice. And using a final uh, coat of uh, clear epoxy glue to just go all over the teeth make sure it looks like all wet and natural looking mouth like um, so I'm um, starting with the outfit I'm sewing some gloves directly onto her forearms because I wanted them to be really snug um, and tight um, also, I do not sew a lot of the clothing for the doll, so anything that I want it to be really fit to the body, I'll either glue on or sew it onto the doll. I do not make clothing that then I put on, like I, I put them on the doll, they kind of built on the doll. Uh, some of my um, uh, original dolls, they do have pieces that they're sewn separate and then they're put on the dolls but not too much, usually it's like a coat or anything like that. Um, I do not make my dolls with the intent of them ever being like undressed, so everything that I, want, that I put on them, it has to be super snug, super fitted to the body and fixed into place so they don't end up like being undressed at some point, I just, I don't know, it's just how I do them. <laughs> so sorry for gluing clothes on, it's just how I do it. So here is like her like body piece of clothing she's got the the gloves on the mesh and the knickers uh, here i'm doing the skirt using this uh, see-through sort of net lacy uh, fabric and i'm gonna use another piece of this exact same fabric to ruffle and uh, apply on the skirt later on uh, my sewing machine has broken, so all the sewing and everything was done by hand for my uh, for my last actually three dolls. <laughs> but good thing I don't sew too much. Um, here I'm using a wide lace to create two separate pieces because I want to have like multiple layers of the skirt. I was going more for the look of like the Spanish latino sort of like uh, skirts where they have like very they have lots of ruffles at the bottom and they look very puffy and i just think they're really gorgeous so i was going for that and i just sewn two layers of this uh, thicker lace and at the bottom the ruffle from the net fabric that is just awesome i'm so happy for it i want it to be very like bulky and puffy at the bottom and that see-through um, around her thighs so it's like very this very big contrast between like textures 
Uh, here I'm using some embroidery pieces. Uh, they're very sparkly and nice. I've cut them into the shape and I'm basically gluing them on between the uh, clay block um, central piece and the skirt so the transition is more interesting and it hides everything that looks like weird in between there. Um, but this actually ended up being a very very cool outfit, a very cool dress and I'm just uh, gluing that into place with a bit of super glue. Very careful, just a tiny drop does the job. Measuring a few times before gluing into place. If you're gonna use super glue and stuff like that, the way I'm doing, just make sure you measure a few times. Don't rush into it because once you put the glue, the whole thing is ruined. Um, here I'm actually sewing some pieces on as well because obviously is on the skirt where it's like lifted from the body so I cannot really glue it on. Applying a bead where the neck uh, joining uh, part is. Be more details, be more sparkly details. using this piece of velvet from an old t-shirt to create like a back and over the shoulders detail um, because her dress were looking quite simple at the top so this velvet made it look really really like rich and just nice like Coco Chanel nice sort of thing that's the the black velvet just gives me a, a Chanel vibe I'm gonna secure this into place and moving on to her nails I'm using this hot glue gun new technique uh, for the nails for the first time so you'll see later on how this ended up I can't say I'm very like overly happy with the results but because it's so small it kind of does the job moving on to the face I did not have Mr. super clear to prime the face so I'm just going over the plastic with my watercolor pencils I managed to build quite good layers and quite uh, like saturated layers but once I get my Mr. Super Clear um, spray um, delivered I'm gonna finish off her I'm gonna seal her just leave the face and give her like a quick um, layer on top so I can seal the paint job that I did so it doesn't just rub off in time trying to saturate those lips with red here I decided to give her an eye patch so I'm just uh, gluing on a string over her eye with a bit of super glue being very careful and I'm applying a heart shape patch onto the eye with super glue as well Then um, on top of the eye patch, I'm, I'm applying some uh, epoxy glue mixed with red resin dye to create a blood effect. They're gonna just uh, the the drips down her face and a little bit on her lips. Creating some uh, lacy bows for her hair. So I ended up um, actually attaching about three of them. I think one in the front, two in the back, just just something there because the hair is so massive and it didn't have too much like going on but I did not want uh, to make her like very childish with too much stuff going on into her hair so they're very, um, the bows are not very visible but they are there if you get closer to it. Um, just uh, curling her hair using a metal sculpting tool and my hair straighteners. This worked great. The doll was finished about two weeks ago and the hair is still nice and curly. But it's natural um, goat hair, so I guess um, natural hair like holds the, uh, the, the shape a bit better. So if you straighten it or you curl it, it's usually gonna hold like for a very long time. Painting the nails with red, obviously. Um, nail polish, I thought that would be the best uh, 
the best choice um, rather than using like acrylic or something actually after they painted and not too bad um, not my favorite technique but it does the job for such small nails you can't really use anything else so the shoe story is kind of long and sad i went through i love the platform so the way it looks here but i did not like uh, because the um, the paint would chip off and then I did not like that you can see the toes so I proceeded to cover her toes so I am I am gonna update how her shoes look on Instagram once I get to finish them so here's the finished doll uh, let me know what you think um, you know comment what you liked what you don't liked it was a very quick project it took me I think two full days like quite a few hours every day um, I really love it I think it's very me um, the chest detail here with the teeth and heart I think is absolutely awesome uh, I wanted her to be to sort of be like a dark side of Valentine's Day. I don't know. She's a widow. She's you know, a bad girl, <laughs> um, sort of thing. But you know, uh, like a queen, like a evil queen of hearts or something. Like that's the the vibe I was going for, and I'm super super happy with her. And she's also for sale. So if you are interested in purchasing this, just send me a text or. Um, a, a text on Instagram or an email which you can find in the description box.